Android 1 received Android 6.0 Marshmallow OT update before Nexus devices. And now, Android 1 is most affordable smartphone running on latest version of Android. It's really amazing that Google really giving priority to Android 1 series. So you're watching Inside Take and this is my review on official Android 6.0 Marshmallow after 4 days on Android 1 first generation. The first thing you will notice after flashing official OTA is of course boot animation. This boot animation is really eye catching and suits material design. Google Launcher is updated with vertical scrolling. Add search and recent app row on the top is very useful to find any app in the app drawer. Some people don't like vertical scrolling but it's not that bad. It's very comfortable to find any app in the app drawer. Google now on tap working fine on Android 1. I found it really useful to get various information quickly on just one tap on home screen button. I am using 6.0 from last 4 days and Google now on tap feature is extremely useful in my opinion. And of course it's in beginning stage and they are adding more features in it. There are some minor changes in app opening animation. It's look like app opening directly from app icon. And new heads up notification is improved with slightly bouncing animation. It look really cool. In lock screen we have Google now shortcut on left side. And now you can uninstall any app directly from home screen shortcut. And believe me, it's really helpful. Copy and paste control are really improved with new share and translate feature. Translation is really quick and good thing is it pop up on small window unlike opening full Google translation app. Good job Google, this will definitely useful for readers. Now we can set memory card as internal memory but before you do this you need to format your memory card and after that memory card only work on your phone. That means you cannot use your memory card for your camera, card reader or any other phone unless you format it again. It's pretty good for low internal memory phones and now you can install huge games like GTA San Andreas and Asphalt 8 at the same time unless your memory card get out of memory. In my last 4 days usage I found battery backup is extremely good thanks to new dose feature in 6.0. Especially at night or phone is in steady position, battery drain is almost negligible. Here is my battery graph and it's better than lollipop. App optimization is super good, there is not a single lag. Now you can access do not disturb mode directly from quick setting. Also now we can customize status bar and quick setting by system UI tutor which is hidden in settings. You can hold setting icon for 5 seconds and active this hidden feature and customize status bar and quick setting as your wish. In Android 1 still there is no multi user feature same as 5.1 lollipop also there is no dark UI option in developer settings. We can unlock multi windows features by tweaking build prop but it's still in beta version so you can expect some bugs. Overall Android 6.0 Marshmallow working stable and all feature working perfectly on Android 1. Still some apps are not supported with Marshmallow yet. Instagram crashes when opening camera and I am not able to send file through Shared app. Hope they will solve this issue in next app update but no problem with Snapchat and other camera apps. And now I am excited about Cyanogen Mod 13 for Android 1 and I know already developers start working on it finger crossed for that. So that's it for today guys, I hope this video is informative for you, don't forget to leave thumbs up and comment down below. For more videos subscribe my channel and I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay awesome.